Don't tell the Germans, though. They're busy devising coupified versions of everything they build. Some of them, like the 2018 Mercedes-Benz E-Class Coupe, actually have two doors. And, at least in this case, they're doing their best to make the format more practical, and dare we say sensible, than ever before. To start, there's the extra room. The new E-Coupe is longer and wider than its predecessor, it's also a touch wider than today's E-Class sedan, with more rear volume among the chief benefit of this growth spurt. Yes, you can actually fit two adult humans back there, though headroom gets tight for anyone around or above six feet tall. You don't even need to contort yourself into a pretzel to squeeze into the back seats, either. We'd say they're genuinely usable, and for this class, that's hardly faint praise. Then, the tech. All of the E-Class sedan's early advanced gadgetry transfers over, including the semi-autonomous features. No, it won't drive itself. But it will follow cars around curves at speeds of up to 130 miles per hour, this car's limited top speed, though we don't recommend taking your hands off the wheel. Or you can let its cameras read road signs and keep things at the legal limit automatically. The E-Class Coupe seems to be designed to do two big things well span great distances in near S-class comfort, and look great moving through the landscape and on arrival. In its E400 incarnation, at least, it's a comfy tourer, not a taut sports car. Hence, power from the V6 is adequate, consistent and smoothly delivered, but it won't catch you off guard, not that it's supposed to. Sport and Sport Plus drive settings are amusing, for a while at least, on tight, winding roads. Paddle shifters give you a degree of control over gear selection. But the powertrain, like the car itself, seems more comfortable loping along in comfort mode, the toned down throttle response and easy, imperceptible shifting are more in line with the vehicle's character. Our stylistic quibbles are minor. There's a panel positioned aft of the panoramic sunroof that, from certain angles, looks like it's been stuck there as an afterthought. Once you notice this body panel colored Yarmulke, you can't unsee it, better to just paint it black to blend in with the sunroof and let it disappear. The pillarless hardtop effect is marred, if only mildly, by a rear quarter window that doesn't retract, since it sits above the rear wheel, there's no place to roll it down into. Plus, you need to choose carefully when designing your car's interior. Available metallic dash trims make it easy to craft a borderline tacky cabin at odds with the flowing lines of the dashboard and the elegant exterior, coupe exclusive bright metallic turbine air vents don't help. There are more classic options in the range, we really like the high gloss and the natural grain wood veneers. But again, style is subjective, and as we said, we're probably just old school, 